Hi guys, I am Nigrum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to continue our journey in Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth 3 DLC and we are now in uh, by the new Site of Grace called Chamber Chamber of Let's see Castle Lord Chamber. We used in the previous one Kaju Tree Blessing and as you see it's like on this whole area, on this whole location. I don't know how it's supposed to work because we didn't die, not yet, after using it. Oh, and we have a fog here. We have a mist. And I am tempted to check it out, but first let's check the balcony over there because it might be only a balcony with the, with the treasure. And as for the... Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I, yeah, it is. Stone. So... Do we get a boss boss fight or we get like the second part of this location? The pre in the previous video we fought this huge black knight and the, the one had with magic. The one in the previous video, in the end of this video had of the previous video, sorry. Sorry guys, you know what I mean. Oh, this is definitely a boss fight because we have so summon a sign and who can we summon here? Needle Knight Leda. Oh, this is a new one. The previous game in a previous video died uh, falling off the cliff. I fought him from the elevator, you certainly remember him and just simply he... I don't know how he how he felt because I didn't see it, I just ran towards the elevator and escaped the fight and was supposed to go back but then he just poof, disappeared so I think he fell off the cliff or either he fell from the elevator. So. A needle Knight Leda. I would like to summon her, but first, is it a boss? If it is, I would like to see it solo first. Ah, uh, let's use yeah, uh, let's use Flask of Wondrous Physics. And if it is a boss, yeah, it is a boss fight. <laughs> oh, Relana, Twin Moon Knight. So it is Relana. We've seen a talisman of her. Oh, she's beautiful! Look at that! It's the second story boss fight. She is really beautiful. She's like Pontiff Sullivan from Dark Souls 3. And she's also a dualist. She's beautiful. Let's learn her attacks. I would like to try it solo first and then after a while maybe I would just summon a Mimic or Leda. Oh, I really liked the Pontiff Sullivan fight in Dark Souls 3. It was really enjoying, so I think Relana, Twin Moon Knight, would be too. I'm really curious who who she is. Is she a child, another child of Marika, maybe? But she's really beautiful. Like, look at her. Look at her movements, though. She's strong, she's strong, but also really beautiful. Like, oh, and the music! The music. First try, first try, guys, and I think it went really good. I think it went really good. She's stunning, she's stunning, she's stunning, she's tough, she's strong, she's fast, and she's exquisite. Like, mm, nice. I really like this boss. 
really she's so beautiful the music is beautiful the arena is beautiful and you know guys what the arena is also really beautiful i said that before but you didn't know this about me yeah, some some of my viewers do, uh, do know this about me but in souls like games i really do appreciate and i really do like the arenas who, which are circled like they're in shape of a circle and this is a really powerful pro for me really great plus for me because i'm in love in such arenas they are really they're really great because they are round they are silker they're round they are in shape of circle there is much space to fight the boss and even if the boss is big even if the boss is uh, uh, white or have uh, really great range attacks it's really beautiful and i hate the opposite i hate when the arena of of the boss fight is in square or it's it's really tiny tight this one is also in square but it's kind of round it's giving the vibe of a round arena so it's really a lot of space to fight her and i'm really enjoying it i try one more time to fight her and then i will just cut this fight in pieces try to fight her alone and show it to you guys when i win but let's take another pick a fight with her like normally fight without the mimic without the mimic and leda but i would like to see leda in action Maybe she would be also in another boss fight, so then we can see her. She has so many attacks. And she's like dancing here. She's like dancing on this arena. arena. And now the arena got a little bit darker. Like, look at this. Oh, she hit me with that. Powerful. I don't know where to dodge yet. Or to her right, or maybe to her left. Or maybe, maybe just backwards. Oh no. This got worse. Let's focus. No! Okay, see you guys <laughs> in a few seconds when we win this fight, but I think she's really killable, she's really killable solo, I enjoy this fight, some some of people might not enjoy this fight because how quick she is and she's also a dualist and I know that uh, there were many people who disliked the fight with Pontiff Sullivan in, in Dark Souls 3. And I really liked it. I defeated Pontiff Sullivan on my first playthrough, first try. First try, blindly playthrough, and I defeated him on first try. I also had a different character then, than here in Elden Ring, but it was really challenging, but also fun. And I see the pattern here, because yeah, maybe if you guys, some of you guys have the same, the same feeling as me, but I see the pattern here that when I enjoy, personally enjoy the fight, then this fight is really going better, really going better. And even if I, if I die, I really enjoy like dying, like fighting, like repeating this fight. And th this fight is, feels good, feels good, really. Guys, I just 
<laughs> remembered something. Uh, oh no, I just I just ma made a mistake. Sorry, guys. I told you earlier before that I have a blood loss effect on my mm, katanas, and that that was correct. And I cannot change it uh, before we could find any blacksmith. And I was mistaken. This was mistake because I totally forgot it, forgot about it, because like I said earlier. I didn't play Elden Ring like in two years, so I just I just forgot about it that we can um, change like our upgrade on our weapon, like our enchantment. I mean by upgrade, I mean enchantment without uh, blacksmith. By going to rest point, by going to ashes of war, and I've just changed it because here on my Uchikatana and Nagakiba I had this one and I had blood. Affinity granted, like it's an enchantment, and I had blood, and by blood I mean like this blood loss effect, and my physical power was a little bit down. And I knew that, I knew that obviously, I knew that that uh, it, it wasn't uh, as good as on the cane, as on this sharp, like sharp enchantment, sharp upgrade, because I switched this between these two in my base game, but I forgot in these two years, I forgot that we can do this. By resting at grace. I just thought we need a blacksmith for do, for this to happen, but no, I, I just I just made a mistake because I was curious about the blacksmith why we didn't get any blacksmith in this DLC and now I remember that uh, we can change it here. So now I changed my Uchigatana and also uh, my Nagakiba from blood to kin so they will do slightly more uh, damage and as you see the sculling changes to on dex changes to A not to be but i like really the blood bloodless effect it gives uh, us more power more effects like this is also cool but uh, we have more physical damage on on the kin one and on the blood one is slightly lower and because we don't have now any effect on our weapons i can use like something like this like magic grease so i would try something different some different greases on this boss like maybe yeah magic grease won't do won't do anything because she's using magic so i suspect she'll be immune to that but we could uh, try to use holy grease or maybe some maybe some fire grease a blood grease, a bloodless effect worked really well on her. We could do lightning. I suspect she's poison immune. All of bosses, like lots of bosses in the Souls-like games, are uh, immune to poison. But we could do something else. Maybe rot. Maybe blood or freezing. I should. I should give it a try. Oh, she changed her weapons. Ooh. No, what is going on? I nearly killed her. What the hell was that? I've seen two new attacks with this magic. Did you see that? The two new magic, I, I am not prepared, like I, I feel I am constantly seeing new things on this boss fight, because the previous boss fight I've showed you guys were nothing like this. We've seen this, this, this like massive fire eruption, like a massive fire and lava and volcanic eruption.
Nice. Let's go. Oh, three times. But it's okay. Nice! Let's go! Relana Twin Moon Knight! Remembrance of the Twin Moon Knight! Nice! Let's go! Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! Guys, this one was really tough. The toughest boss fight in this DLC so far. I just cannot believe I did this. I just... Let's rest. I did this in two days. Like, this video you are currently watching is recorded within two days. This is the second day for me, but the previous fights, some of the previous fights were in first day. Like, oh, she's close to Melania, but not yet. Because I died on Millennia in base game 147 times. Yeah. And one of my viewers, how do I know that? Because one of my viewers counted it, counted my deaths on Millennia. So it's so. Wow. I cannot believe this. We cannot level up, obviously. And I really checked, checked too. Like, the things she's weak to and I've lost so many greases because I used on each fight I used so many greases that I've run out of some of these but I can but I can and, and also this Kadutri I use Kadutri and uh, uh, the thing that I can say to you guys is that this Kadutri is working even if you die it's I think it's uh, overall working in the whole area of Shadow Realm in whole DLC, like, it, maybe it's not per area, and maybe it's not per location, but it's like per whole DLC. And so, as you can see, the attack power is now gold, because of this Caduce tree, and I have uh, one left, but uh, if I want to use the second one, then I have to... Um, yeah, the third time, I think, because I used it two times, I have to now have two Skadoosh tree and I have one so we have to find it but I learned out something that we can we are manage we can manage to take up to 10 Skadoosh tree before five before first boss sorry I'm so excited I'm shaking I I didn't even think I would do that today because it went pretty well so we have 180 souls uh, 180,000 souls sorry and normally she would give us like 240, but I have less because uh, I fought uh, in cooperation with Leda and also with my Mimic. But the Mimic doesn't count, but the Leda count. And guys, look at this. Look at my greases. I've used so much greases on her. Some of some of my greases are just gone. I I used so much of them, but the tips uh, I can say I can provide to you guys it's. She's very weak to freezing grease or overall freezing damage. If you are capable of doing some freezing damage on her um, by using grease or maybe throwing some pots or uh, bottle perfumes, then use it. Use it because she's really weak to it and um, I just discovered it myself. But, by, but later, I checked out some things on the internet, how many souls she gives uh, after defeating her and how many health points she has. Oh, she has, sorry. And she has, like, around 30,000 health points. It's insane. And um, the internet says that she's weak to holy damage. So Leda has holy damage, but I had holy grease, like, eight or nine of them. I, I don't remember now correctly. But I used all of them, and personally, personally, I would say... That doesn't do much to her. I think um, you can just simply use grease, uh, freezing grease, freezing, or maybe blood because she was uh, also uh, weak to blood loss, to freeze. And the poison worked worked really well, and also rot. I had like 
12 or 13 rod grises. I used all of them and she was also very weak to rod grease and poison grease. So when I ran out of the rod grease, I used poison grease. So, and the latest one, lightning grease. So she was weak too, but not that weak. I would say the first one, the first three top greases on her is like freezing grease, bleed, uh, rod grease and the bleeding grease. And the fourth one is uh, poison grease. So just go ahead with these greases and use them. Use them on her. Also, I used my a flask of wondrous physique so i had like resistance on her and now we can go further but first wait wait first first we have to check out her remembrance let's check out her remembrance she's so beautiful and tough she's like the hardest boss for now for, for now in this dlc like I, I thought it would be easy because she reminded me about uh, she reminded me of Point of Sullivan, but now she's like millennia to me, so I, I don't want to repeat this fact. Please <laughs> take the power of its namesake, the Finger Reader. Remembrance of Relana, the Twin Moon Knight, and into Skadu Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bonus, uh, bounty. Sorry, bounty of runes. Once a Carrion princess, Relana disavowed her birthright and chose to stand at Mesmer's side instead, knowing full well that not even the brilliance of the moon could grant him succor. Before long, she came known as the Sword of Mesmer. Okay, so I think Mesmer is one of the other bosses, it could be. <sighs> In this DLC, I, I just have a feeling that... Ooh, Skadu Altus! Whoa, look at this! And we have another fire giant there, so it's the second one. I am st still not capable of uh, k killing them. And I think they are just like mini-bosses or great... Ooh, there's a giant, another giant. Great enemies or mini-bosses, but they are tough. They are really tough. And I would like to have an... Uh, ooh. Have an NPC who can provide us new greases because I ran o ran out of this. I have some greases left, but uh, I would like to do some shopping and buy some new stuff. Oh, she was tough, and you know what? She she was even tougher because I used the uh, uh, help of Leda and my mimic, so she was clearly tougher. Oh, Leda. And we have a cross here. Yeah, we spoke about Skadu Fragment. Yes, Skadu Tree Fragment. Touch Grace. I just pick this item up. And I will talk to you, okay? And talk to this guy. Monk's Missive. And may the best win. New gesture. Let's uh, check it out. Another cross. Touch Cross. Ooh, there's something new. Look at this. I abandoned here my heart. Do we have new... New thing. Hello again. Did nice. you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation, from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you deeply for your help, Leda. You were Awesome today. <laughs> not sorry, not yesterday. Today it went really well. Thank you. Thank you. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough. In any other circumstance he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the tower folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the horn scent holds the earth tree in contempt. That aside, Man is by nature a creature of conquest, and in this regard, the tower folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war, but it's still a wretched shame. Okay, we're learning something new, some more information, more stuff about Mesmer. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? In any other circumstances, long ago... Queen Mary, a cleanse, it's no wonder though that aside, and in this room, they were never saints. Okay, 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 ok
Mm, four crosses, yes, four crosses. So, okay, that went really well. We have two, two more. And here we have something, and here too. Okay. Let's talk to this guy, and then I think we can just head there. There. I, ha I, I know that we have some optional locations and uh, optional stuff, but we can do this later. We can always do this later, like we can do first the story, and then if you would like to, if you would want to see the optional areas and optional bosses, we can do them too. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. New cross map. Okay, thank you. I thank you. Map of cross sites received. Checked in inventory. Mikola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He says the act, though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross, but is evidence enough to earn my belief. Okay. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. The blood of your fellows. They are three faithful. What does it mean? I have to slay some of my my fellows, some some other NPCs? There? I thought we would fight mass murder. Go to the misshapen in that forsaken. Okay, so he means that we have to go there, to this uh, huge location. But let's check this out. Okay, we have nothing new here. Let's check the inventory. We have a map, we have something new. And a new Skadu tree, then we can use it. Let's check the map. Let's check the map. Mikola, wait, Mikola's needle, no. Monk's missive, th yeah, this has to be checked. Because it's uh, it were here a letter bearing a terse message and an illustration of a monk, his hands held together. Take me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. Ooh, so we have something, uh, something extra. It may be a side quest, or maybe a side quest to kill some optional boss or gain something optional. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There is no need for wars. Okay, so the challenge with the monk, east. East from here. Okay, we could do that. It's optional thing, but I'm really curious. Don't you? Don't you curious? Aren't you curious, guys? I'm curious about this thing. Okay, where's the map? New cross map. Is the cross map? Okay, look at this. So this was this one was the first with three crosses. And here's more. Okay. A simple map drafted by Horson, to rec uh, recently revised, to reveals the locations of newly discovered golden crosses. The crosses are akin to Mikola's footprints, or gravestones which mark what he has left behind. Okay, I'm really curious about this monk, because it would be like optional fight, and he said to uh, go to east from this place. So, let's take a look. From this place, east it would be... Yeah, it would be there. It may be somewhere here, or it may be there in this in this location over there. But what do you guys think? We, I think we could uh, head there for the end of this video. And oh, it may be there. Look at this. It may be there. Maybe it's there. But this is so huge, there are so many paths, so many ways. And before this uh, castle, Ensis castle, we had also two another paths. But I would uh, explore them later. I think we could head there, check check this out. And in, the, in another video, or we could fight the monk, or we could head there. Like, we could choose. Let's head here, because I'm really curious. Oh, lots of enemies. <gasps> and this one is on horse. No. Okay. And this one too, look at him. No. I would like to head there. I am curious about this monk. I'll, I want to find him. Oh, Grace. 
Morph ruins. Is this the monk? Okay, because we have a camp here, like camp with some enemies. But I can always fight these enemies in um, later on. You see, we are now outside of the Ensis castle, and I have still this Kaju bl blessing. So now we have uh, two Kaju tree fragments, and I can use them because we have to. And next time I have to use two, two more again. But we have to do this because it's. Uh, Currently, it's a... Uh, are you the monk here? And we have another cross here. I abandoned here the flesh of my body. It's uh, the way... Oh, another skeleton tree. It's the way how we should play this DLC. We have to empower ourselves with this skeleton tree. Otherwise, it would be, like... Would be... Painful. Are you the monk here? Mister, you look like a monk. Do I have to challenge you? He's not an enemy. Maybe I should... Not talking to me. But the... Wait. We could do this in the end of this video. Morph Ruins. It's currently here, like... Nicolas Cross. Do I live Dane? Are you the monk, mister? Wait. Let's check this out. Let's check the message. Monk message. Look at this. A letter hearing, bearing a terse message and an illustration of a monk, his hand, hands held together. And he's doing that. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There's no need for words. Okay, he says his. There's no need for words and that we should challenge him. So he's not talking to me. He is the guy we are looking for. So I have to attack him, I think. Let's attack him. Okay, he disappeared. And now? Oh, I think I know what's, what's going on. I think he would just reappear in some other location, maybe further in these ruins. And then we have to seek him out again and try to slay him. And if he goes again with disappearing, then we find him again. Oh, whoa, 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 that was quick. Then we, then we fight him. Okay, but I would like to end this video here, right here. Guys, I, I don't know how long this video is now, because it's in pieces. I have to glue all the pieces together. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, like, really, really enjoyed it. But uh, Relana will give me a nightmares, like lots of nightmares, lots of nightmares, because she's reminding me of uh, Millennia now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye, guys.